Hello everyone. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It would really help the channel out quite a bit. Thank you very much. Until now, this story has been Top Secret. Top Secret, the exciting NBC presentation starring gorgeous Ilona Massey as the Baroness Karen Gazer in transcribed dramas of international intrigue and espionage before and during World War II. Assignment 4, Escape, a story until now, Top Secret. As an Allied agent in the Europe at war, my job is to fight Nazism and fascism in any and every way I can. In Hitler's Berlin, this is a dangerous job. I have been many things. A singer, a nurse, a stenographer, a many things. Right now, I'm the private maid, really the confidential companion of any German, wife of the air marshal himself. Assignment 4 began a week ago last Thursday. I was spending my afternoon off in the beer garden, sitting on a bench and throwing crusts of bread to the fat, pompous pigeons. Come on. Well, are you hungry or aren't you? I will. Well, here. And this one's really. I have a whole bag full of crust. Come on, come on. Put it another. Put it in the Oh, you scared them. I'm sorry. Well, don't look so sad about it. There isn't exactly a shortage in prison. Look at that one. A big fat cross, and you can't see. Fraulein. Yes? Would you mind if. Would I mind what? Oh, would you like to feed them? May I? Well, of course. I have a whole bag full of crust. Help yourself. Thank you very much. Oh, no, not a whole handful. Just a crust at a time. If you give them too much, they will... Oh, no. I am not that hungry. Wait, please, don't go. Don't be embarrassed. Being hungry is not a crime. No. Now, Thurston. Why didn't you say it? <coughs> and you are sick, too, aren't you? You are, I can see you are sick. Well, you shouldn't be talking to me. I'll go now. Have you no money? No. Please let me help you. Uh, no. I can't. I'll go now. Were you bombed off? Yes. Yes, bombed off. And now you have no place to go. That's right. Then please come home with me. No. That's very kind of you, but I'd rather not. Don't be proud. There are many like you. Come home with me, and I have something to give you to eat. I have a small apartment around the corner. Please come. Why are you doing this? Must there be a motive to everything? I will ask nothing of you, but that I be allowed to feed you, and you will ask nothing of me at all. Wonderful. I don't know how to thank you. Then don't try. Don't even talk. How long since you have slept? Oh, I don't know. Two days, three days. I'm afraid I've lost track of time. Would you like to sleep here? No, I can't. Why are you afraid of me? No, I'm not. You are. I can see it in your eyes. Uh, look, my friend. I don't know who you are. I don't care. I do not use this apartment. You may stay here as long as you wish, or you may leave now. It's up to you. Well, if... I'm so tired. Could I stretch out on your couch for an hour? Of course you may. You can see it after that enormous meal. You must be very tired. Oh, uh, what would you do? It was that. Uh... I'm afraid the couch is too short. Oh, no. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh. 
I've got to go to the motor pool and get it. I'll be back in an hour. In the meantime, you can see enough. Where did you get the money for all this? Never mind. Be dressed and ready to leave when I get back. Karen. Yes. While you were out, the paper came. You didn't go to the door. I No, you I that. heard the girl deliver it, and I took it in after she'd left. What's the matter? Second column. There. Read it. In consequence of increasing air rates upon German cities, the High Command has made the decision that all enemy Air Force personnel who land on German territory will henceforth not be taken prisoner, but will be shot on sight. If you're with me, they'll shoot you too, helping a prisoner to escape. You can't do it. I can manage somehow. It's very human. It's very human. It's Germany. We just have to risk it. No, I'll risk it, not you. It will be my deal, not at all. I'll go for the car. Be ready to leave when I get back. I can't get over you. Tell me about yourself. No, not much to tell. Born in a little town called Blockhurst, not far from Southampton. The Lord Oxford. Then came the war, and I enlisted. <laughs> How brief a story can one tell? <laughs> Talking about it makes me own sick. <laughs> I say what's that? The flashlight ahead. Lean back and keep quiet. No, run them down. Run them down. I just keep quiet. There is a better way. Please, dear, my dear. For goodness sake, don't let me talk. It's excellent to see you being a second. I've heard some bad German in my days, but nothing like yours. All right, Fräulein. Pass the car a few hours. There's no private traffic out of Berlin tonight. Have you looked at the license, please, Sergeant? I'm not interested, Fräulein. Turn back. That you will be interested in the crest on the bonnet. Go ahead. Use your flashlight. Right, Marshal. What do you mean, Fräulein? I did not notice. Uh, I presume you have permission? Your caution is praiseworthy, Sergeant. Just don't go too far. Here is an order signed by Frau Göring herself. Thank you, Fräulein. I will raise the barrier... Proceed, Twilight. Have a good journey. I hit now. <laughs> you see how easy it is when one knows the right people. Now we are out of Berlin. You wonderful. You didn't turn a hair, and I thought I'd take right out of my clothes. A man with courage is a man who controls his fear. If you were afraid, you didn't show it. Now where? You'll find a map in the glove compartment. Get out. Get it out, please. All right, sir. Find the central autobahn, the main highway. It's a heavy green line. Which direction? South. South? But you'll never get to England going south. And which way would you suggest? Why, west, of course. Yes? Through the entire German army, through occupied friends, through the channel for fortification, then swim across the channel. Is that your idea of best way? <laughs> I'm overruled. What's your plan? A diagonal across Germany. Follow me on the map. Berlin to Leipzig. Right. Leipzig to Plauen. Plauen to Nuremberg. Nuremberg to Ulm. Then we go across... Hold it, hold it, hold it. Um, right, then? Across the Friedrichshaven, on the Bodensee, then to Lake Constance, and there are Isles of York. You can get a fishing boat across to Switzerland. Switzerland? But I'd be holed up there for the rest of the war. And what's wrong with that? There are other names on this map, Karen. Belgium, Buchenwald, Dachau, Auschwitz. Rotten, horrible names like stores. I can't sit it out in Switzerland. <laughs> Karen, why are you stopping? Because I want to think. Can't you get me back to England? I am in this kind of work for one reason. The same reason you are, to fight. But still, it, we are surrounded. Denmark occupied, Holland occupied, Belgium occupied, France occupied. There is no other way but Switzerland. Please take it to Holland, please. I'll risk it for the dust. They'll pass me through the underground and I can get to the North Sea. Thousands of our boys have come back that way. I know that I'll be able to... Sorry. 
I've no right to endanger you if you're stupid. We'll go wherever you think. We drove across Germany, from Brandenburg to Bielefeld. The Goering crest on the bonnet of the car opened every barrier. We drove by night, traveling the back roads in the daytime reflected. Wherever we could find a hidden place, on the bridges, in forests, in haystacks. Karen, wake up. What time? It's dark enough to stop. It's 8.30. Fine, then you were here. I could feel it once. Most of it's in your head at the moment. From where we are, it's hard to imagine there is a war at all. Look at the sunset. Mm. The rest of it. Pink and the red. If only the whole world could be like this. Someday, perhaps. I wonder. Oh, I believe in miracles now after having met you. We're halfway there. Minster is more than halfway. How far are we from the town itself? Oh, about a mile. But if we won't go through it, we'll go around it. Then west to Coastfield, to Vessel. If we are lucky, we can reach uh, Vessel. Karen, listen. Where are they? There. Over there. Hundreds of them. Look, Karen, those are Lancaster. Sterling. We are going to bomb Minster. It's a saturation raid. We'll have to go back. No, we're safer here in the open country. We are only a mile from the center of the town. Please, Philip, let's turn back. Karen, you can't raise a Lancaster in a German car. We'll have to sit it out. Going home to England, please, Philip. Don't give up, please. Leave me, Karen. Don't be a fool. Leave me. Try to stand up, please, Philip. No. Not no use. Stop that. Stop it. We'll get you to a doctor. Somehow we'll get you to a doctor. <laughs> Don't faint, please don't faint again. Don't be afraid. I've got my gun. Don't be afraid. Come behind. Doctor, help us. My brother was hurt on the road to Minster. Yeah, yeah, come in. Shrapnel in the shoulder. On the couch, please, boy, lad. Thank you. Easy, easy. Lean on me. That's it, there. We were caught in the raid on Minster. He lost so much blood. Do not worry, Fräulein. You will expose the shoulder, please. I have no nerve. Yes, doctor. <clears throat> I will not be a moment. You are safe, doctor. You are safe. There is her, Fräulein. Well back. Yes, doctor. Oh! <clears throat> So good. He has fainted. That is an angry shoulder. Uh, what are those? Identification tags. A-R-F. You mean he's English? Yes. Those are English dog tags. Uh, Fräulein. And this is a German pistol. You will remove the shrapnel. Nine. 
I've heard a doctor say can also have the sick heal the wound. I'm a German. I cannot. You're a doctor. You will. Well, doctor? Very well. Scalpel, please, Fräulein. No, it is done. Are you all right, Philip? Yes. Yes, I'm all right. Uh, doctor, we want food. At the point of a gun, Fräulein? Doctor, I am being eat. I am different from your solid German women. It would not cost me a thought to kill you. I've said before. Not food and quick. I have some bread, some fresh milk. That is all. Get it. We shall be across the border station in two hours. He will keep until then locked in his cellar. I have to see that. Lie there. Try to get some sleep. In another two hours, it will be all over. There's a bridge at Newmarket, and from there you can follow the wall river to the sea. I'll wake you up at the border station. <laughs> Neymargen, Colonel D. speaking. In my direction? What kind of a car? Hmm. Also. Yeah. Wounded man and the girl. Her brother. Oh, yeah. R.F. Doctor in Munster. A yard in the watch. I assure you, they will not pass. Right. I'll be the heron. Father. Double head, Colonel. What is it, sir? A man and a woman in an opera. Headed this way from Munster. With an English flyer. They are posing as brother and sister. You know the law? They will be shot. Yeah, Colonel. You will wait and see to it yourself. They'll be here in an hour or two. Bring them to me instantly. The vote. It's one. And remember, Sergeant, you are on detention tonight and tomorrow. Double head, Colonel. That's all. Watch for them. If there's any trouble, shoot on sight. Don't ask questions, don't argue, shoot. Now go. Coming to the border station. This is the most dangerous journey yet, and the last. We are brother and sister. We the last our papers in the need of the race. That the girl in question in the car will work once more. What did they stop? Shall we make that? Nobody stopped us yet. What do you think, Fräulein? Your papers, please. We lost them in the raven And up your motor. Certainly. Now, get up. Sergeant, my my brother is badly hurt. Shrapnel in the shoulder. He has lost so much blood. Your brother? Yes, I said that. Get out of the car, Coyline. And the man, too. If you will look at the bonnet of the car, you will know... I am not interested in the car. I am interested in you. Both of you. Get out. Now. We are looking for a wounded brother. Herr Colonel, the prisoner, sir. Bring them in, Sergeant. Now. I said march. Anyone can strike a wounded man, Sergeant. When I say march, you march. Now go on. So, this is the wounded brother and his sister. How very interesting, and how very unconvincing. I would advise you to identify yourself, my young friend. Fräulein, I will deal with you later. Now, Herr Leutnant, who are you? Come, come, we know you are a British flyer. You will be shot in any case. If you identify yourself, you will have a cross on your grave. 
If you don't, you will be buried in a pit of lime. You have three seconds in which to choose. I'm Lieutenant Philip George Cornelius, 2727 3rd Royal Air Force. I was shot down over Berlin two weeks ago. Thank you, Herr Leutnant. Sergeant! You, Herr Leutnant, will wait. I'll take the girl upstairs. I will deal with her personally. Oh, Herr Colonel! You may go, Fräulein. Which way, Sergeant? Fräulein, wait. Did he say you had come all the way from Berlin? Yes, in four days. You have perhaps friends in the underground in Holland, yes? Why are you asking me this? Fräulein, I... Germany is sick. With America in the war, we cannot win. I have tried many times to get out. I, I was a baker. I made bread. These Nazis, there... There is such a thing as a German who is not a monster. What are you suggesting? Take me with you. You are not serious. I'm partly Jewish. The colonel knows. He, he makes me do things that I do. Since when I telephone call, he can finish me. That is why I struck you, brother. I must pretend to be brutal. I'm not naturally an animal, Fräulein. You mean, you mean they help us? It is only a hundred yards to the Dutch frontier. The underground will help the British flyer. If I get you out of this place, will you take me with you? Yes? But the colonel, will you take me with you? Of course we can see. Then I will deal with the colonel now. I've waited a long time for this. And if you refuse to talk like man, what is it, Sergeant? Goodbye, Herr Colonel. <coughs> Karen, come with me, please. No. Good get through Holland in the boat. Karen, I love you. There isn't much time to say it. I want you to marry me. You would not sit out the war in Switzerland. My job is back in Berlin. But you may not get back. This way is short, please. I'll get back. By the time they discover his body, I'll be at least. Don't talk anymore to this girl. Then I do. Will you come to me, I'll do. I'll do. Then I'll do. You want to. I want to. Very much. Like please. All right. private air raid shelter of the house of Caring, just Frau Goering and myself. They never told me, Karen. They're thin. Did you enjoy the week together? Very much, Frau Goering. He has gone back to Berlin? Yes. But he will come back to Berlin. Well... Come back to Berlin. In fact, I have the feeling he's very close right now. You have just heard Elona Massey starring in NBC's Top Secret. Here she is again to tell you about next week. Next week, a woman in an armchair, a sable coat, and the forgery that fooled Berlin. The story of a cast and a broken link, and a theft. It is a story that has been until now top secret. <laughs> Top Secret and Transcribed is produced by Harry W. Duncan. 
the script by Alan Sloan. Featured with Miss Massey was Lester Fletcher as Phyllis. Other players in the cast were Louis Van Wilton, Brian Rayburn, Carl Emery, and Earl Hammond. The music was composed and conducted by Dr. Roy Shields. Fred Collins speaking. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.